Let's take a look at trends in software. With pull technology, a user states a need before getting information, as when a URL is entered in a web browser so the user can go to a certain website. However, this technology is not adequate for marketing certain products and services or providing customized information. People rarely request marketing information as an example. With push technology, a web server delivers information to users instead of waiting for them to request the information to be sent to them. Webcasting is supported by many web browsers and is also available from vendors. With push technology, your favorite web content can be updated in real time and sent to your desktop or mobile device of choice. Push technology can be effective for business-to-consumer B2C and business-to-business -business B2B marketing as well. For example, a car manufacturer can send the latest information on new models, prices, and features to all of its dealers at the same time. Push technology delivers content to users automatically at set intervals or when a new event occurs. When users sign up, they specify what content they want, sports, stocks, political news, and so on, and consent to the push. They can also specify how often the content should be pushed. Push technology streamlines the process of users getting software updates and updated content. It benefits vendors too, because by keeping in constant touch with users, they build customer loyalty. Application service providers, ASPs, provide access to software or services for a fee. Software as a Service, SAS, also known as on-demand software, is a model in which ASPs deliver software to users for a fee, the software for temporarily or long-term use. Users can also save all application data on an ASP's server so that software and data are portable. Google, Microsoft, Salesforce, NetSuite, Basecamp, and Mint are all companies that offer software as a service.